Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Kids. So today we're going to be looking at mouse clicks. So a couple of things that we've been working on throughout, we've been talking about how we can use like the mouse X, the mouse Y, and um, now we're going to be adding in so these clicks, so mouse clicks. Um, so this is using uh, the variable here and I'll just type it in here is uh, mouse is pressed. Okay, and so if I do something like print, um, and I need to move this down here, um, and I run this, we can see here it's false, 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 but if I hold it down, right now you can't see it, but I'm holding down my mouse, and if I take my finger off, it starts going to false. Okay, so true, false, true, false. Okay, and so um, I'm going to stop that. Um, <clears throat> so we can use this to do a variety of things. And we also have, as we've seen before, we have this. Um, let me actually do something like uh, uh, print uh, mouse x, uh, mouse y, uh, mouse is pressed. Okay, so now you can see here, if I move my mouse around, we have the mouse, uh, the, the coordinates, okay? So I can even take them all the way off here, and it even tells me, oh, look, my mouse is way over here off the canvas. Um, and I can also press, and notice now it's true. So we can do a lot of things using just the X and Y coordinates, as well as uh, the mouse is pressed. And that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to do one quick example uh, utilizing all of these. Um, <clears throat> and so this example is pretty standard and it's pretty um, useful. And again, we're going to be using um, if uh, statements in here and some if else, um, maybe just if. Okay, and so we're going to, our goal is to make, let me just hit play here. Um, so we're going to make a circle in the center here. And when we're inside the circle, the circle is going to grow. When we take our finger, uh, when we take the mouse out of the circle, uh, it's going to stop growing, okay? Um, and then we're also going to make a mechanic so that if we click the mouse, uh, it will restart everything. We may even do uh, something with the keyboard input, so something like a uh, key is pressed, okay? So first off, let's go in and let's go in and get this started here. And we want a variable x is equal to 200. Uh, Variable y is equal to 200, because again, we want this in the center of this 400 by 400 space. And I can maybe zoom in a wee bit for you guys so we can see everything. Uh, now, another thing is we're going to play with um, <coughs> ellipse mode. Okay, and I want a radius. Okay, now if you guys remember before, uh, used to it uh, when we used ellipse mode, it was in diameter mode. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily matter which one you want to use, but again, I like using radius a whole lot because again, whenever we do any type of calculations and stuff, we usually use the radius when we're using geometry and whatnot. Okay, so also I'm going to go on and create um, a variable r. I don't like that, uh, and let me just stop it so that it stops having that. Uh, a variable r, okay, and this is gonna be a radius, and we're just gonna say it's gonna be a radius of 10. Um, and then let's go on and also put in uh, a variable d, and this is going to be a uh, distance, okay? Um, and so what we'll do is up, uh, down here, let me give you guys a little bit more space to see. Okay, we are going to calculate up the distance. Okay, so um, for example, we want to know uh, with whether we're inside the radius, okay, of a circle. All right, so we're going to we need to know the distance. Okay, for example, of um, x uh, this this x and this y. So from the center of the screen. Okay. Uh, and then we need to know, for example, if the mouse is inside 
the circle or outside the circle. So that means that we need to check the distance from the radius, okay? So uh, let's do something like D is equal to dist. So this calculates the distance, mouse X, mouse Y, X, Y. Okay, so that's gonna give us a single number. Now we need to check, okay, if this, if the distance between them is less than the radius, then we'll have it do something, okay? Whoops, and I want you down here. Uh, and so we'll do something like R plus plus because we're going to grow the circle if we are inside the radius, okay? In, if we're inside the circle, we want the, want the circle to grow, okay? Uh, and we'll fill it with, um, if we're inside, hmm, mm, let's do something like um, um, color, and we'll just say uh, light blue, okay? Um, and then what else would we want here? Let's do an else statement. And we want something like else, let's uh, fill um, color in here and let's just do pink, okay? So something, let's do some nice uh, colors. And then we need to go on and actually draw our ellipse. Ellipse here, X, Y, R, R. Okay, for our radius, radius. So this should work. Okay, so now we have our nice dot here. Uh, maybe I should have made it a little bit bigger, but I guess this will make it a little bit more dramatic. Um, and you know what, instead of light blue, let's make it navy. Okay, so that it gets, it's really a dramatic effect. So if we should, if we go inside this little pink circle, it should grow. Whoop. Oh, all right, good. So it actually grows. Now, here's the issue, all right? We, we finished the circle, right? But here's the problem. If I want to reset the circle, I have to go all the way over here and hit play, okay? I can grow it, I can stop it, but I cannot, if I want to reset it, I have to hit play again. I don't like this, okay? So let's add in right here, if, uh, excuse me, if, and let me just stop it then, if, mouse is pressed and remember this this uh is either true or false okay so this is great for us we don't have to say that it equals true or anything else it already is evaluating to true or false okay and then let's have it just um let's just have it reset okay so to r is equal to 10. All right, so any time that the mouse is pressed, okay, when this evaluates to true, it'll reset our radius to 10. All right, so, oh, what didn't it like? Oh, it didn't like something. Um, let's double check. Mouse is pressed. Okay. All right, let's hold on real quick. What's going on? Anyways, so I was being a little bit silly. We need to probably move this sucker inside of our setup. There we go. Um, and let me just uh, tidy the code a little bit so that it's inside of our uh, function. It can't necessarily be outside of our draw function. So growing, and if we click, it resets. It's growing, and we click, reset, click, reset, click, reset. Okay, so this is nice here. It'll grow, it'll stop, we click and we reset. So this is going to allow us to have this nice uh, interactivity using our mouse. So again, here we're using the mouse X and mouse Y to know whether we are inside the radius. Okay, and then we're using this mouse is pressed to reset everything. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.